But for anyone who has to drive in these extreme temperatures, it's important to remember that a little extra car maintenance and precaution could help save a life. Most cars are not designed to operate in the extremes we're seeing this week, so if you have to make a trip, it's important to make sure you have a full cold weather kit in your car. Tires also lose traction in extreme cold, so you should drive slower than you normally would. You'll also want to make sure you get all your fluids checked. You need to make sure you keep your gas tank full. Make sure that your tires don't leak because they'll leak worse in the cold. Keep them properly inflated. Oil is very critical to have the proper weight oil and have it changed on a regular basis so your car will crank properly. And beyond that, it's just plain maintenance. You know, if your manufacturer recommends spark plugs, um, if they recommend other services, make sure you get them done because those make a huge difference when we get into the extreme temperatures. If you do get stuck, remember that frostbite can happen in minutes. That's why it's best to stay in your vehicle and call a professional to help you get out. Unless you absolutely have to be outside, it's safest to avoid the roads altogether if possible. If you stay in a car in these extreme temperatures and you do not have the ability to bundle up, it is going to be a very, very, very bad thing for you. So people have to use common sense in where they travel. Just because you have a front wheel drive, or an all-wheel drive does not mean that the roads can't be dangerous, that the storm can't be severe, and that you really just don't need to be on the roads. And drivers are encouraged to check road conditions before heading out. If you enjoyed this segment of Lakeland News, please consider making a tax-deductible contribution to Lakeland PBS.